Hello, hello, my friend. Amner Hunter from AmnerHunter.com. Happy to spend some time with you on this video. This time around, we are checking out this incredible new drum sample library for the free contact player by the company Robot Dog Drums. This uh, sample library it was carefully crafted to give you uh, rock and metal, modern, dry, unprocessed, raw drum sounds out of the box. On this video, I want to walk you through some of the most important features and controls that make this drum sample library special and stand out from others. And it's for the free contact player, so great. Also, I want to share with you some of the different sounds that are at your disposal with this uh, plugin. Now, full disclosure, my friends, Robot Dog Drums approached me and paid me to do this video promotion for you guys, but they have no part in my opinion about this uh, drum sample library. They are watching the video at the same time as you do. All of the thoughts uh, are mine, right? I'm never gonna let any company uh, decide on what I think about their plugins. If it's good, it's good. If it's not, I won't be using it here on the channel. Before we begin with the content, I'd like to invite you quickly to my website, amnerhunter.com, where I have some additional freebies for you, some free PDF guides and eBooks for music producers and guitar players about mixing with free plugins, about how to make more music in less time. Additionally, I have some tools such as some collections of guitar impulses, some collections of drum sample packs, among other utilities. And finally, don't forget to check out the blog or this channel, which I am updating weekly with tons of free content and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these uh, videos that I upload almost daily. This is the initial screen that you see when you open up this uh, software and drum sample library by Robot Dog Drums. It has a very uh, minimalistic um, user interface, right? It's not a 3D drums or something here uh, in the art or something. It looks like a like toy skid or something but don't let these graphics fool you the sounds are incredibly powerful and the features uh, i think are incredibly powerful as well so here you have the kit and if you hit on any of the parts of the drum kit you should have sound okay a ton of symbols uh, everything that you might need and up here you can choose the different parts of the drum kit with a single click you're gonna be able to change them as well here and choose the different uh, parts of the drum kit and you can choose uh, a ton of different snares for instance all of these snares are sampled here you have the rim shot as well you can choose a ton of toms kick drums, cymbals. You can also indicate the plugin, how your MIDI notes on your MIDI keyboard are selected to trigger a specific sample. That it's more in depth on this setup section that we're gonna check out in a moment. Also, you can hit learn in case that you want the plugin to learn another uh, note on your MIDI keyboard to trigger a specific part of the drum kit, stuff like that. You have here also sounds of a cowbell, tambourine, the sticks, or claps. One thing that is very cool of this uh, drum plugin is that you have this one knob really to uh, add character to the drum sound. You can have the sound natural and unmixed, like very raw sound, very natural and organic. Or you can have it modern and full mixed, like EQ'd, compressed, stuff like that. More mix ready, right? Or you can have a blend of both worlds as well. Pretty cool. I love that it's very simple in just one knob here. And you can also engage the punch option to add an extra... Uh, compression to the overall sound. Let's move on to the mixer section. Here you have the different faders 
and extra controls for all of the different parts of the drum kit right for instance here the kick drum you have the panning knob you have the the volume you can mute or solo a specific part of the drum kit you can add 808 sound with this uh, like blend control more bottom end you can add room with this small knob you can add reverb and also you have some of those uh, single knobs on some of the different parts of the kit for instance here on the toms you have a uh, reverb knob also here on the hi-hat and ride and you have also individual controls for the all of the symbols the crash mute and solo volume pan and reverb all right and the same with the other crashes splash china stack bell and you have also the room fader and control here tom symbol and size right you can decide how much toms are sent to the room or symbols or also the size of the room sound smaller or bigger pretty pretty cool the same with the cowbells tambourine sticks and claps you have volume pan and reverb here and you have a master control here universal controls that affect the overall drum kit such as the bleed this can give you a much more alive sound if you increase the bleed like in a natural real drum kit recording you have also one single knob for compression with this pretty cool and saturation that you can uh, introduce using this control right tape saturation pretty pretty cool and you can also add reverb to the overall drum kit you can choose here the toms and the cymbals for instance or you can unselect those moving on with the setup section here you can choose different midi mappings uh, depending on how the drums were created for instance here you can access to the midi mapping of get good drums superior drummer for instance uh, addictive drums like how those drum plugins and software are configured for instance on this song that you heard at the beginning of the video i used the get better drums uh, preset for this plugin to work accordingly to the midi notes that i created and like in the kit section you can assign different keys of the midi keyboard to different parts of the drum kit you can also learn like in the uh, first section or you can assign them here individually with all of this uh, sort of uh, matrix that you have here also if you use an electronic drum kit you can uh, assign those different parts of the kit to this drum sounds here or on this matrix this grooves section is pretty interesting you have here different groups to start right for instance you click on this And you can decide the main hand you can also choose ghost notes crash in initial crash hit and you can decrease this to add or remove a bit of velocity other one eighth double time train beat and you have also some fills to start and you can also drag these files to your timeline of your song right drag and drop and you have it there to start so now i'm gonna go through the presets that we have here you can select them here you have alternative metal basement punk big pop punk clean fusion dry punk hardcore grind heavy shoegaze indie pop rock post hardcore or roots rock I'm gonna go through the sounds and I'm gonna make some adjustments here on the mixer so you can hear some of the different possibilities.
As far as the installation goes, it's uh, very simple. All you need to do to get this drum library to work on your free contact player is first you need to download the native access platform all right you install it you open it up with your credentials you go here this is the platform here you're gonna click on add serial when you purchase this drum sample library you're gonna get an email with this information so you add the serial number copy and paste it it's gonna be registering the product wait a bit it will say success you have successfully registered uh, robot dog drums after this it's gonna appear down here and you need to go ahead and install it and that's pretty much it you just wait for the installation to finish you open up contact player on your daw and you choose robot dog drums and a preset or something and you're good to go let me know what you think of this incredible drum sample library by robot dog drums i am very interested to know your opinion about this new drum plugin before we go let me invite you one last time to my website amnerhunter.com where i have some additional freebies for you some free pdf guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players also some tools such as some collections of guitar impulses a drum sample pack among other utilities and finally don't forget to check out the blog or this channel which i am updating weekly with tons of free content thank you so much for watching thanks for supporting the channel i appreciate it very much i appreciate your time as well and i'll see you very soon in the next video all right take care